By the way, I got permission from my manager to say this, to tell the story, so... But I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, like, completely butcher, like, the the, th the details. So it was festival. Uh, it was, it was a festival. Uh, it was, like, the first day. And, um, during the line when we were lining up, we were at the ticket booth. So, uh, at the ticket booth, we met a bunch of, like, um, people who were really into LARPing. They were, like, the people who were actually recommending LARPing to us. So, one of those people was uh this kid uh this like teenage girl i think her name is bethany okay i'll call her bethany okay i'll call her bethany so bethany um bethany is like one of the <laughs> steve <laughs> okay i'll use bethany and steve so bethany is one of the girls that like um came up to us right we we became friends with bethany bethany um seemed like a really experienced larper uh she had like a sword with her and she was like dressed like a knight she had like the riz of a medieval knight right bethany uh was like i think around like her early 20s um and she was i, I guess looking for friends because as soon as she like met up with us and she introduced herself to us she like explained how she was supposed to go here with a, a bunch of friends but her um crush steve right her crush steve ended up like deciding not to go on the first day so she has a crush on this guy named steve and she tells us that like pretty much like point blank she tells us that she has a crush on this guy named steve but steve has a girlfriend <gasps> steve's girlfriend is uh one of bethany's friends oh god right <laughs> so 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 just to recap bethany has a crush on Steve. Steve has a girlfriend. Steve's girlfriend will call her Megan, okay? Was at festival with Bethany. So Megan and Bethany were at festival together during the day the day portion and Steve decided I'm not going to go I'm not going to go to festival this morning cuz I I'm not feeling it. I don't want to. Bethany makes a point, right? Makes a point to all of us to like say I'm the one actually who convinced Steve to go to the festival. Like, I literally told him, I, I begged him, I, I like, I told him, it's gonna be super fun, like, trust me, we can go out, we can go uh, around together. Like, it, Bethany, Bethany was like going wild, ham wild, trying to convince Steve to go to the Ren Fair with her. We got all of this information, by the way, when Bethany is introducing herself to us. So Bethany shows us her ID and like says, oh, uh, my name is Bethany Princess. So like her her second name is Princess, right? And like um, <laughs> none of us believed her at first when she said that her name was Princess. Um, so she pulled up her ID and said, "No, no, no my my name really is Princess." Shows us her ID. <laughs> and like at the back of this ID is a picture of Steve. <laughs> And I didn't want to ask, right? I didn't want to ask. She shows us her ID. It says it says Bethany Princess. Yeah, that confirmed. That's her name. Looking at her ID, see, noticing that there's a picture of a guy behind it, and like she's telling the story about like um Steve and telling the story about like her crush on Steve about how like she's trying to steal her friend Megan's man, right? And Megan has no idea that she's been like flirting with Steve for like almost a year now. And I'm over here standing at the fucking line trying to get into a festival being like, what is this lore drop from this like random ass woman <laughs> that I have never met before? Almost a year ago! Almost a year, dude. Almost a fucking year. This girl is just yapping. She is like a master at yappery, okay? Megan is not a princess, by the way. Megan, Megan's name is like just Megan. <laughs> Like, Megan, I met Megan on the second day. Megan's dressed as, as, a, as a fucking witch. Megan and uh, Steve were actually matching outfits. Where Megan was w dressed up as a witch and Steve was w dressed up as a wizard. So they're we wearing matching ass fucking outfits. I met her! I met her on the second day. I met both of them. Yes, I, bo I met both Steve and Megan on the second day. Right, but like before that, before that, before that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain the fucking lore drop of Princess, right? I'm gonna call her Princess now because like literally that's what we called her for like most of the, most of the festival. So Princess starts talking about like all of these like, all of these things about how um for an entire year she's been trying to court Steve because she's been trying to like she's 
obviously made it super apparent that she's really, really interested in him. But he has been on an on and off relationship with uh, with Megan for like six months now. So, so apparently Steve and Princess knew each other for way longer. But like Princess is kind of, Princess is kind of a stalker, right? <laughs> Princess is kind of a stalker, right? Bethany, Bethany is like, you know, the thing about Bethany is me and my friend, we both agreed. She's cute. She's super cute. But she yaps way too much. She she is the master at yapping, bro. Like actual master at yapping. Talks way too freaking much about like all of these private things. And we ended up knowing way more about Megan and Steve than Megan and Steve probably will ever know about us as fucking strangers. So <laughs> she's a yapper. Um, so Bethany like tells us about how um, for the past year she's been trying to court Steve. And Bethany was like uh, talking about how like, you know, on Steve's birthday, you know, Steve's really into music. So she bought Steve a guitar. Um, she like Steve, like she's been like buying Steve chocolates to like really show that she likes her uh that she likes him rather she bethany's been like buying steve chocolates bought like gave uh gave steve a bunch of things for valentine's all of this all of this stuff and megan apparently just never fucking knew because like to to bethany megan doesn't care about him megan megan doesn't give a shit about steve right so like like to bethany like bethany's like talking about megan like megan like neglect steve like hard hard like um whenever steve is feeling bad it's bethany who's always by steve's side to like you know um accompany him home like keep him company to, like listen to him like you know griping listen to him like you know venting and all of that so i'm, I'm just over here listening to uh, like bethany just talk about this right just yapping about this and bethany like continues talking about this up until like um we're we're like talking we're already like moved past this conversation um and we're talking about like how later on day one there's uh like on the night event there's gonna be a um uh, a drinking contest so like bethany said i'm gonna drink my sorrows away <laughs> like fully fully went i'm just gonna drink my sorrows away and i'm like oh my god <laughs> bethany <laughs> bethany Stop crying over this man, Bethany! You can do so much better, Bethany! I think Steve is... I think genuinely Steve has been, like... Um... Like, stringing Bethany along for a year... For, like, a year now. But at the same time, Bethany, this is not the answer! You know, being persistent sometimes is not the answer, Bethany. Steve is not clueless. Steve is not fucking clueless. Steve like ad admits like to bethany you know like oh bethany i care about you so much bethany like um you are so close to my heart bethany but i have a girlfriend bethany <laughs> and i'm like oh my god steve steve jesus christ <laughs> the, the, this rad like the fucking random ass people are like so crazy steve doesn't want to give bethany a chance but uh, at the same time is like stringing bethany along that's like what i've gotten from like the story so far on the on day one of like listening to bethany talk listening to bethany yap about these people this is what i got which is basically bethany has been pining over steve for an entire year and steve is stringing her along while dating a different girl who is steve's friend uh, not steve's friend uh bethany's friend and like bethany is still holding out hope that steve's gonna date her because megan and steve just genuinely just kind of have a rocky relationship they are constantly fighting they never seem to get along um and megan never like seems to care about like actually bringing steve into like any of the things that like that she does and like steve would rather like go her own like go his own way and like do his own thing, you know? I think Bethany hates Megan, to be completely honest with you, because Bethany told me about how uh, she bought a sword for Steve, right? She bought like a great sword. Oh, like that was like, I think it costed like, I think 4,000 pesos. It's a huge great sword for LARPing because she wanted to invite Steve to go LARP with her. 
So she buys this fucking greatsword for Steve. Megan borrows the greatsword, not knowing it's for her fucking boyfriend. Bethany's not loaded, by the way. Be Bethany doesn't seem like like she's loaded. She's like, you know, standard um, teenager kind of, kind of rich, you know, where she has like money, but like it's her parents' money or something like that. You know, it's like that kind of vibe. Bethany tell talks about how she buys a greatsword for Steve. Lends the greatsword to Megan because Steve's not there yet and to like even use it. And Megan doesn't know that the greatsword is for Steve, right? So Bethany says, on the third day, I'm gonna challenge Megan to a duel. And I'm over here like, what? What do you wait, what do you mean? What do you mean you're gonna challenge Be you're gonna challenge Megan to a duel? And um and she says, I'm gonna challenge Megan to a duel, and I'm gonna say you know that great sword, Megan? That great sword that you've been using? That was my gift to Steve. Like, just, like what? <laughs> what kind of, what kind of crazy, crazy ass bullshit drama am I watching, dude? Beth, like literally, when I met Bethany and she was like talking to me about all of this goofy ass stuff, right? Like when she was talking to me about the stuff, I thought she was LARPing. I thought she was fully just like really into her LARP. That like, oh, there's a princess that's like, that that she's like really into. And she wants to like, you know, save the princess or whatever the fuck, the whatever the fuck, like that kind of storyline, right? Like that, like there's a, there's a, there's a duke who she has to like win the hand of or something like that. Like I thought she was like LARPing this entire time. No, she's completely fucking serious. And I find that out on day two when Right. So like, I, I I leave for day one, go back day two. Day two, me and Mono are walking around the, the market, the marketplace of the Ren Fair. And um, while Mono is shopping, uh, Bethany finds me. And Bethany's like, hey, Lammy, over here. Like fucking, like, wa like j jogs up to me, happy as all hell. And I'm like, what the hell happened to you over the night? Um, and like, Bethany's so happy. She's like doing little jigs, right? She's like, she's so excited. And she like walks up to me and she says, they're here. And I'm like, who's here? And I'm like, and she's like, Steve and, Steve and Megan. Steve and Megan are both here. Steve's here. Like, she's so happy about that, right? She's doing her idol animations exactly. She's so happy. Steve and Megan are here. And she's like saying, she's like telling me how Steve came here because of her. Like Steve, uh, she convinced Steve to like attend Ren Fair today. And <laughs> she's like, she's like, Steve and Megan are like, um, are, are like walking around the fair. And Steve walks up. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. Megan walks up while in the middle of us having a conversation. And um, Bethany, Bethany like goes, oh, hey Steve. Oh, sorry, not Steve. Hey, hey, Megan. Um, Hey Megan, um, this is my friend Lammy. Lammy, this is Megan. You know Megan. I told you a little bit about uh, about the about her. She's my friend, and I I was over here like you are giving me the biggest side eye, Bethany. <laughs> Bethany was giving me the whole like wink wink nudge nudge like thing while Megan wasn't looking at her, and I'm like oh my god, Bethany. Bethany, you are so obvious. Bethany, I can't believe this fucking Megan girl has never like known anything about your feelings for Steve un up until now because this is crazy. But yeah, so Bethany like introduces the two of us. Um, I would say hi to Megan and like we're talking a little bit about how um, like Megan's there. Um, like she's she attended like day one, but like you know went home early, didn't attend like the nighttime event, and uh, she's there with her boyfriend. So um, like her boyfriend's like walking around somewhere, um, and I I say okay, well that's cool, but then I get called away. So um, Mona calls me and is like, Lammy, Lammy over here, and like we we go back to like buying stuff. So I said, so I tell Bethany and Megan, I I'll catch up with you guys later, okay? So see ya. A couple of minutes later, in the middle of us like um, walking around, uh, we're like moving from store to store. Um, while we're in the middle of moving from one store to another, um, Bethany calls over to me again and says, Lammy, Lammy, Mono over here, and like calls over to us, and she's standing with a guy and a girl, right? 
And obviously one of the girl one of the girls is Megan. And the guy obviously has to be Steve, right? So in my head I'm already I'm already like, oh that's Steve, right? <laughs> that's gotta be Steve. I can't possibly think of a different person, of another person that this could be. I can't possibly think of like anyone else that this person could be. So that's that's obviously Steve. Steve looks pissed off. And I don't know why. Like we walk, like we're called over to them. Bethany looks happy as all hell. Like can't even hold back her smile. Meanwhile, Bethany, like it was Steven and Megan, Steve, uh, sorry, Steve and Megan look angry. And I don't know why, right? I'm like watching them, watching them like, um, from like a side eye, just like trying not to like make it really obvious that I'm looking at them. Megan looks super uncomfortable. Meanwhile, Steve looks so pissed. Like actually just angry, like she doesn't wanna, like he doesn't wanna be there. And I'm confused, right? Cause like, I don't know why you're calling us over in the middle of this couple having a fight, but okay, Bethany. Bethany introduces us to Steve and Megan properly. So, Bethany, like, says, oh, this is our friend, Steve. Um, as if we've never talked about Steve ever in our lives. <laughs> as if I don't know who Steve is, right? Like, introduces us to Steve, like, saying, this is Steve. Um, this is our friend, our other friend. And I was like, yeah, nice to meet you, Steve. Um, how is, how's your run fair so far? Um, but, like, Steve did, obviously didn't want to talk. Like, Steve was, like, very standoffish. And Megan was like, I think I'm gonna go to the LARP area. I think I'm gonna, like, you know, um, I'm gonna check out the LARP area. I'll catch up with you guys later. And Steve goes, oh, so you're leaving. And I'm over here like, oh shit, they're gonna, they're about to fight. They are about to fight right now. Um, in the middle of, like, the fucking marketplace, they are about to fucking fight. And I was so nervous. So I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. Um, I, I, glad, like, nice meeting you guys. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go. We're gonna continue shopping. Steve and Megan start a fucking fight in the middle of the marketplace. Bethany is happy as all hell. And me and Mono are super uncomfortable. So we're like, we're gonna go continue shopping. We'll catch up with you guys later. And we leave. And we don't see Bethany, Steve, or Megan for the rest of the day, right? So for the rest of the day, we don't see any of the three of them. And up until, up until the end of the day. So it's the end of the day. And um, we're like trying to book like a taxi to go home. And while we're waiting for a taxi, guess who comes up to us again? It's Bethany. So Bethany goes, hey, Lenny, uh, like jogs up to us again and says, I have an update. I have news. And I'm like, oh God, am I, am I ready? What happened? What happened this time? And Bethany's like, it's, it's uh, I mean, there's good news and there's bad news. Uh, I mean, so you notice, right? You notice how um, Steve and Megan were fighting earlier. So, Turns out that Steve got so mad that he just like kind of like decided, I'm going home. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Which like, understandable lady, like understandable bro. Like, I, I wouldn't want to be there either. <laughs> it's uh, like so uncomfortable. I would I didn't really blame Steve for wanting to go home. But um, apparently, so Steve was like saying how he wanted to go home to Megan, right? Like he was like saying, I, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I, I want to go home. And Megan was like, okay, um, well, be safe on your way back, basically. Like Bethany was like recounting the story about how uh, Megan didn't seem to care that Steve was going home at all. Just basically said, be safe on your way back, right? I don't know if I believe this because like obviously uh, unreliable narrator Bethany is the one who's saying this. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. Maybe that's actually what happened. Maybe that's not what happened. You know what I mean? None of us would know if that's actually what happened or not. Because Megan like left to like, you know, go to the LARP area and like basically left Steve and Bethany together. Steve and Bethany like spent the rest of like the morning that she was there, that he was there rather, that he was there um, together. And Bethany decided it's my chance. Like I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna ask her what I mean to her. 
So she she's like, see you. What do I mean? What do I like? What am I to you? What am I to you? Am I just like someone that you keep on the down low? Am I just like your side chick? Am I like the the girl that you keep a secret? Like, what am I? Are we just friends? Are we something more than that? And Steve, the fucking motherfucker, right? Like the motherfucker says, you're someone really close to my heart. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, what? Okay, all right. So Bethany isn't as much of a dumbass as I give her credit for, right? To me, Bethany is a little bit a little bit of a dumbass. Not as dumb as, like, I would think, you know? Because she followed up that question with, but you can say that about any girl. You can say that about any friend. Like, I can be close to your heart and still be your friend. I want to be more than that to you. Says that to, to like, Steve. And I'm like, shit, crazy. This is fucking insane. You know that Steve has a girlfriend. And you are saying this to your friend's boyfriend. And I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. The funniest thing about this story, right? Is that my friends are tired of this bullshit. Super, super tired of listening to Bethany yap at this point. Like Lee admit, admitted to me that they tune out anything that Bethany says because they don't want to fucking hear it anymore. You know, they don't want to fucking hear it. And like, Mono's being polite as hell, but like walks away sometimes in the middle of the story. I'm over here like ear out, like uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, okay, okay. To the point that Bethany, Bethany, this girl, this the Lulu ass girl, she told me, okay, so Steven, uh Steve, to like to like her question, like, you know, what are you to me? Like, um, you can say that about a friend, right? And Steve says, yeah, but you're the closest person I have. You're, you're like the closest person to me. You're like so close to my heart, kind of thing. And fucking Bethany falls for it! Bethany, you stupid ass girl, you fell for it! She fucking fell for it! And she fucking sends him, she sends him home, she walks him home! Like, gets on a fucking taxi with him. And like, literally tells him, it's either we leave festival together and Megan sees us as we exit, or I go over to Megan and tell her myself about what we are. Bethany says that to Steve. And Steve is like, no, please. I just want to go home. I don't want to, I don't want any of this. I just, I just want to go home. And Bethany fucking relents! Relents and like goes home with him. Like sends him home. She stopped at the door by Steve saying like, okay, um, thanks for walking me home. Thanks for bringing me home. Um, I I'm gonna go take a, take a rest. I'm gonna go take a break. I'll see you later. Just fucking leaves at that point. Steve goes back into his house. And Bethany like gives up, I guess, for for now, I don't know if like give gives up is like the, the, the right way to like describe it because she doesn't give up. Uh, she kind of just like, you know, relents that like she's not gonna get anything from Steve right now kind of vibe. So she's like, okay, fine, I'll go home for now, but I'm gonna send her a message. I I'm gonna send him a message rather. So this guy, and I'm like, understandable, like it's a tiring day, your girlfriend doesn't care about you and like there's this girl who's like ha constantly hounding you for attention. But like, at the, like, in another way, you could also interpret that as, I don't think Steve wants to talk to you, Bethany. I don't think Steve wants to talk to you. Bethany takes Steve home and goes back to festival where uh, she meets up with us. Steve went to go and rest, but I'm not giving up cause I sent her, I sent him this message. And she fucking shows me their chat log. <laughs> she shows me their chat log. And it's a one-sided ass conversation between her and Steve, where she sends Steve five million messages. And Steve replies every now and again. And I'm like, girl, if you're being treated this way by a man, please. Steve is not interested in her, but she's so Delulu 
that she thinks that she's like the better option for him. That he doesn't care. He doesn't care if like he's she, she doesn't care if she's a little. She just thinks like, you know, she has a chance with him. Like after like 10 messages, I didn't read. The last message is like, anyway, all this to say, I love you. Fucking confesses to him. In messenger! On messenger via phone! And I'm over here like, what is going on, dude? There is no way this is going, this is happening. This is not happening right now. I'm like in a simulation. I thought I was going absolutely mental bonkers, bro. But yeah, <laughs> apparently not because that was real. Legitimate messages that like Bethany had sent Steve and Steve didn't even read it. So I'm over here like, I think Steve is ignoring you, my girl. My, my girl, my, my babes. I think he is ignoring you. And she's like, no, 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 no. He's just tired. That's why he hasn't read it yet. And I'm like, girly, girly, no. Bethany, please have some self-respect. Okay, Bethany, you're better than this, Bethany. And I tell her, are you sure? Like, are, are you sure she, he's not just like, you know, ignoring you? or something and, and she's like no 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 i i'm pretty sure he's just really tired i mean uh, who wouldn't be after like having a fight with your girlfriend right and i'm like okay okay sure sure at least you got to tell her I, at least you got to tell him that you like that you love him yeah right <laughs> I, I guess i guess that's what's ma that's what matters and bethany at this point starts to just complain about megan and complain about how megan doesn't treat steve right i've tuned her out at this point you know and it's it's absolutely fucking mental unfortunately i had to cut it short because our taxi at that point like uh arrived and since our taxi arrived we had to go home we said goodbye to bethany for that day so i we went home we went home and uh that was the end of day two day three we see uh bethany in larp we were supposed to join them for LARPing, but we weren't able to because we weren't able to sign in on time. She went crazy in LARP, took clothes off, like not like went naked, right? But like took her clothes off just to show that she was serious, that she was like dueling people and dueling like Megan. She's not naked. She's not naked. But like, you know, she she took her like um her like coat off and stuff. Cause like she's usually very well dressed, but she went full barbarian, yeah, for the last day. I unfortunately, or fortunately for me, never got to hear the ending of Megan, Stephen, and Bethany. But from what I can gather, from what I can gather, I think Bethany was rejected. Aww. There is no good end. You know why I think Bethany got rejected? I never gave her any of my contact info. I never gave her my name. I never gave her any of my contact info, but she found me on Facebook and she found a lot of our friends on Facebook and she just added all of us. And I was like, oh God, <laughs> I did not add her. I did not add her, but she found us on Facebook. And I was like, Bethany, Bethany, how did you find me? Bethany, I never, I never gave you my full name, Bethany. How did you find me on Facebook, Bethany? This is crazy, Bethany. But yeah, um, that is the crazy story of Steve, Megan, and Bethany <laughs> from the festival. <laughs> oh my good god, it was absolute insanity actually had no idea what was going on anymore but just in case but just in case i did change all of the names so if you notice any similarities from this story please don't attack me i said this with completely all the affection and love bethany you need help please please give up on this man that is stringing you along okay bethany Bethany, you deserve so much better than this, Bethany. You don't have to be a stalker for a man that doesn't love you, Bethany. Okay? 